Hi, my name is Kyung Min, and I'm going to talk about using enzyme immobilization technique to overcome the economic challenge associated with the biodiesel production. First, I would like to go over the definitions and the process. Uh, biodiesel is an alternative and environmentally friendly fuel that can be produced with animal fats and plant oils. The ingredients undergo a reaction called transesterification. The goal of the process is to reduce or eliminate undesirable byproducts and yield high quality of biodiesel products. Enzyme catalysis is very attractive for achieving this goal, but unfortunately it's, economi it's not economically viable. Enzymatic transesterification is expensive due to the activity loose of the enzyme after each cycle of process. The deactivation of enzyme is the one of the major issue in production cost. The deactivation can be caused by pH and the temperature change as the reaction proceeds. The deactivated enzymes undergo extra processing for reactivation or just simply discarded. As you can see in the slide, the net profit of the product ethanol is not very high due to high cost of enzyme. Then how do we reduce the cost of enzyme? The solution is the enzyme immobilization. The goal of the process is to increase the enzyme's resistance and eventually preventing the enzyme deactivation. Um, <clears throat> the enzyme immobilization can allow one to use enzyme multiple times in a biodiesel production. The definition of enzyme immobilization is Enzymes physically confined or localized in a certain defined region of space with retention of their catalytic activities and which can be used rapidly and continuously. In easy words, it's just basically fixing the enzyme in one position and allowing the substrate to flow on it. It can increase the enzyme's resistance and it can, it can also allow one to separate products more easier since products are also flowing and possibly stored in other, another storage. Now I'm going to talk about the common methods of enzyme immobilization. The first method is called the adsorption. Adsorption is attachment of an enzyme on a certain type of fixed carrier by a certain type of fixed carrier such as calcium carbonate. The attachment is possible due to a weak force between the enzyme and the carrier such as van der Waals force, hydrophobic interactions, or dispersion force. This method is widely used because of its low cost and convenience such as easy and mild preparing conditions. Uh, existing challenge to this method is the enzyme getting detest very easily due to the pH and temperature change. Currently, more efforts are done to find a better, better carrier that can hold the enzyme better while the reaction proceeds. The second method is the cross-linking of the enzyme, coupling reagent, and carrier. The strong network between the particles give a strong enzyme immobilization, but as a sole method, as a sole method, the activity of the enzyme is very low in this method. So this method is usually combined with other methods such as the adsorption or the entrapment method which I am going to talk about it at the next slide. The last method is the entrapment method. Entrapment method is capture of an enzyme within the inner cavities of a, matri of a matrix or microcapsule of a polymer such as alginate. There are two broad categories of micro entrapment method, and those are micro-encapsulation and gel entrapment. The method is fast and cheap, and it can enhance the resistance of the enzyme with a shielding effect of the capsule and the gel. The challenge associated with this method is limit and mass transfer of the substrate. Only substrate with low molecular weight is able to transfer inside the gel and contact with the enzyme. When this method is solely used, conversion of the substrate to biodiesel is relatively low due to poor diffusion and erosion of the enzyme from the surface of the capsule. Again, lots of efforts are made today to find a better capsule substances. 
In conclusion, the enzyme immobilization technique solves the economic challenge associated with the biodiesel production. The method gave a positive result in reducing the cost. The enzyme cost is decreased significantly from $3 to $0.1 per gallon of ethanol produced. More immobilization methods are still being researched nowadays. Thank you for watching.